everyone, Leanne from Cake and Eat Three. And we might be blessed with hubby joining me soon. Um, okay, so you're planning on hitting the road. And this video we're going to be talking about apps and maps and travel in Australia. Because there'll be a separate one for international. Um, okay, so you, if you're already there, hey, everyone likes to know a good app. Um, there's always maps and apps that you need. And then there's apps and maps that you want. So we're going to start with what you must have. So hitting the road in Australia, what sort of apps do we actually use? Not download 50 before you go and end up using 10 of them. So, okay, the must have apps on the road. Uh, basically, we're free campers at heart. So we're going to have a major focus on uh, apps that help us with choosing campsites and um, places that we can camp for free. Uh, but Okay, number one on the list. We, this is our absolute Bible. Camps Australia wide, Camps 9. Now Camps 10 is just about to come out. Um, honestly, we have had this resource. Honey, come on in. I'm, I'm the shy one. Yeah, he's the shy <laughs> one of the family. If you no, I'm the guess. second shy. And um, we've had this resource, my God, we've been traveling 20 years together and we would have had this resource from the beginning, day one. from day one. So to us, this is the Bible. Now this is a B4 copy, so I get it, it's big. You know what, it's worth it. So look, they're at their 10th edition. It comes out every, 10, um, every two years. Um, so number 10, they're at 20 years and I reckon we've been with them since the beginning. Probably so actually. this is actually close to our heart. Um, having the hard copy, I get it, everyone's heading um, towards apps and, and you know having everything online. Uh, but there's something about having a hard, hard copy. copy map and um, camps details in front of you. We've uh, recorded everything from what's the best winery down the road, <laughs> to the best hamburger, to, you know, um, possible job opportunities nearby, or, um, you know, station stays, or whatever. You can, by having an actual hard copy and getting to write all, the notes in it. All goes in the book. <laughs> all goes in the book. It absolutely becomes your Bible of travel on the road. And for everybody who is um, doing a lap and then going home, it's really cool to have as a souvenir and actually have handy because you can be guaranteed you're going to know someone who's stopping in to talk about your trip and they're going to ask where you stayed and you're going to have it all in that book. So look, I know people are heading towards the apps and everything, um, but we 100% it's one of the few books that I'm allowed to take on the road <laughs> because uh, everything pretty much goes digital when you hit the road for weight and everything. but. Camps 10 out next month, got to be done, got to be done. So number one, must have. Uh, I like the B4, but whether you go A4 or B4, uh, doesn't really matter. Um, we believe it's an absolute must. I like that. Spyrax. So he actually, um, Brett's referring to the Spyrax side. And, uh, and size. The size of the it, I yeah. Can, I can see where I'm going to go. Yep. Um, you can revert back to the app. I use both, both the book and the app. So, and it works well. And as far as having, you don't want a heap of maps. Remember in the good old days, me, for when I was with my parents and there were 50 maps sitting in the top of the visor and everything like that. You don't want heaps of maps. This one resource has all the maps through it. Uh, when you're sitting down having a drink at the barbecue or around the campfire and to get an actual resource out where you can route plan and talk about where you've stayed and it really is just something else. Oh, well other people tell us as well there's a place, there's a dam down the road and we'll go okay well if you just had an app it's not going to be quite enough. We yep. can bring out a book and go okay well where's the dam and they can put a little dot on it and from there you just further research. So it's yeah, yeah the we, book. We I, I swear by the book. Yep. But we do it in Europe as well. So. Now, Camps Australia Wide also have an app. Now, if you check out our blog piece, which is on www.cakeandeatit3.com, um, you'll actually be able to see a full write-up of all of these apps we're talking about, um, links to everything, so you make sure you get the right one. Um, and basically why we love it. I mean, um, Camps Australia Wide have actually, um, they've got some new owners, and it's pretty impressive. 
um, the effort that they're going to to actually uh, make it the number one resource uh, for campers. So basically that's apps, maps, point of interest, everything across the board. And it's really cool to support an Australian uh, company. So really get behind them. Um, like any resource, it's only as good as the input that you put into it. So by putting reviews and, and guys, anyone with a blog, you can actually review as your blog, getting further exposure for you. Reviews are pretty important. Yeah, whack those reviews on. They help other campers who are going through the same areas. So I have to say, I'm very impressed um, with the direction that the new owners are taking. And being that it's um, you know been with us since the beginning, we are impartial to it, or partial to it. Um, and so, yeah, we definitely say it is number one on our list. Um, and of course, the app is available on Google Play and iTunes. So whatever uh, you've got, you're able to uh, get on that one. Okay, Caravan Parks Five. For the, we're you know we're not big Caravan Parks people. However, if you are Caravan Parks Five. Um, look, everyone chooses to travel their own way. We're well known for being free campers, but every now and then you're going to stay in a caravan park. This is your resource. There's a lot of families that I know that have multiple kids that want to stay in the caravan park. They, for whatever reason, they choose to do so. That's the resource that you want. So um, definitely get on board that. Okay, wiki camps, everyone knows about it. Same deal. Um, basically, it's kept up to date by users of the app, but um, unlike um, Camps Australia Wide, who actually personally double check all of their camps, um, Wiki Camps, you know, we have been let down a couple of times with um, sites not being there anymore or uh, the reviews not being actually accurate. So that'll happen. Um, again, it's well known. It's uh, it's out there. Everyone's aware of it. Apple um, Apple iTunes and Google Play, of course, nice and easy. Um, okay, maps me. Over to you, Mr. Uh, driver slash captain slash no, 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 navigator. <laughs> yeah, no, you can do that. Maps me. Okay, we use this one in Australia and overseas. So, uh, pretty much, this is an amazing offline app. Uh, now, I know there's many, and look each to their own but this one for us is just so good you pinpoint where you are or where your vehicle is so you arrive in a new city or you know a prospecting big one you know we go out in the middle of bloody nowhere you know you without, can you yeah can, without any um, reception so you have a offline map and you can go anywhere just pinpoint where you are and I'll go wander just with the detector it's great, it's great. So I can always work my way back home. Yep. So whether you're in a car park, a big car park, uh, I can do the same as well. Just um, That's right. Yeah. Like you're in a new town and you're off, you know, exploring, following information trails or, you know, they've got their boards everywhere and you end up wandering and, and there's nothing better. I mean, that's what travelling is all about, basically going and getting lost. Um, and all you do is hit the pin, go, take me, take me back and bang, you're back there. Um, now we're, we're actually pretty good with direction and you know you can spin us around any amount of times and we'll find our way back but you know what when you're in strange towns there's nothing better than just relaxing especially if you've got multiple kids and you know you don't want you're trying to keep your eye on them keep everything together this is the resource for you we think it's a must-have number three okay moving on emergency plus This is actually a national app um, which was put together by Australian Emergency Services. And this is, if you've got kids, if you don't have kids, it doesn't matter. This is has to be on your list of apps. And basically, wherever you are, you can hit an emergency, um, emergency triple O number and bang, you are connected with your GPS coordinates of where you are to the emergency service. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Just if you need it and you and you're in that situation and you need help you're going to be so happy that you have that app um, again all of the details are on the uh, website so check it out okay Australian bites and stings pretty obvious why you're going to need this one um, you get bitten by something you're going to want to know what to do or how you treat it or how you actually make yourself a little bit more comfortable 
Um, I've actually had a March fly bite um, when I was staying up north in Western Australia and it was one of only two places in Australia that this particular strain of March fly decided to invade. And um, uh, it was actually like a uh, alien March fly <laughs> that brought in um, a severe reaction. People got airlifted out. Um, as it was, my calf swelled to nearly double the size. Um, I am all normally predominantly 100% homeopathic or natural medicines and I was in hospital and got given you know god knows what uh, to relieve the swelling um, it was pretty intense now you really want to ha um, have an idea particularly when you're in the outback of what's but what's bitten you and what you need to do to treat it so check out Australian bites and stings um, contrary to popular belief for all our foreign tourists Australian animals and nasties are not trying to kill you. So uh, look, if you've got the right apps and know what to do in the event that something does go wrong, particularly with snakes, um, look, it is well worth educating yourself on that before you set off around our amazing country. Uh, Fuel map. Look, it's a crowdsourced database of petrol stations and fuel prices around Australia. Pretty clear cut, pretty easy stuff. Um, again, uh, when you're thinking about fuel and about saving money um, with fuel on the road, don't forget your memberships. You know, Coles, four cents off, that's an obvious one. RAC, give four cents off at Puma stations in Western Australia if you're an RAC member. Um, uh, Sharks Club on the Gold Coast, give four cents off the United petrol stations. You know, really take advantage of these. Four cents off, you might think, oh, whatever, a couple of bucks here, a couple of bucks there. It all adds up. So keep on top of it and understand what memberships you've got. We all hold them. They're in our wallet. Well, most of them are actually in apps these days. But you know what? Use it. It's there. Uh, cam scanner. Uh, quite simply, uh, cam scanner is a absolute must-have for us. You basically can take a photo but it's a scan of any document, um, bills, receipts, um, schoolwork if you're documenting for um, homeschooling or distance education. Uh, it takes an absolute perfect scan of the document and when I say perfect like fair income um, for tax accounting um, records, for sending documents back signed for, for anything. This is your num this is absolutely perfect and it's free. So, you know, get on board that one, uh, cam scanner, must have. Okay, we've done the must haves. Let me tell you, there's a handful of musts. Everything else is a want. Okay, so we're moving to the want. Uh, whether I've got kids or not, <laughs> I love what's in the sky. Uh, I think everyone sort of has a fascination with what's up there. And um, you know, whether you claim to have seen a UFO or not, um, it's amazing just that wonder of what is up there. And the, the stars and the planets and everything are no different. So, Star Walk 2. Uh, sky mapping of the stars. I think irrespective if you have kids or you don't, it's absolute must. It's so cool to know what's up there. And we do we do, do satellite um, spotting games at night. Uh, incidentally, um, I'm the leading uh, winner of that game at the moment. Just saying, guys. What's that? I'm the winner of um, uh, satellite spotting at the moment. Oh, no, you're not. Stop and two. It. Oh. Well, guess uh, what? Okay. I'm, I'm second winner. Yeah, second, second, yes, okay. Well, always good. Gas finder. Uh, again, camping, barbecuing, you're always going to be refilling gas bottles on the road. It's one of the other great expenses that you know you have to do while you're traveling. So, um, by actually having this app, tells you how much everywhere was. Again, user base, so chuck the prices in there that you come across. It's only as good as all the input that we as travellers put into it. And being full time on the road, um, you know, we constantly are going around and needing that. At the moment, I think in WA, I think the best we've found is barbecues for Laura, isn't it? Thank Just this. incidentally. 20 bucks, I think. $20, $9 kilo. Yeah, 99 Perfect. Um, petrol spy. And the petrol app, check it out again. Just get on the blog, all of these are there, all the links are ready. Uh, Australian reptiles and frogs, 
it's those of you with little girls and boys that love the outdoors. I personally am a big reptile fan and I love learning, excuse me, about um, any reptile or frog or pretty much any animal actually. Um, I'm still on the hunt for a really good bird app. I have found one but it's really expensive so I'm not going to share it yet until I've had a really good chance to um, just check it out and make sure I'm really happy with it. Uh, but yep, reptiles and frogs, um, fantastic resource. Uh, the driver and captain of the ship who's bailed on me, um, <laughs> uh, Oz AUS Rain Radar. Okay, uh, know when that next storm's coming in. Pretty much it's okay to know that there's a storm coming, holy dooly. Any, anyone who's lapped Australia knows there's a storm and then there's a storm. <laughs> so pretty much whatever rig you're in, you want to know. We've got an expander on our rig. You know what? If there's a decent enough storm coming, we bring it in. You know, it's just called Warnings. risk management. Yep. Warnings in. Expanders in. If you're in a tent, you know, there's not a great deal you can do, but you know what? If it's a big one, you pack up that puppy and you're sleeping in the car. <laughs> so, you know, be being prepared. Oz Rain Radar, you want it. You've all you've all got weather um, apps on your phone anyway. And just like the TV news, some of them know what they're talking about and others on the radar, pull it, it out of the, pull it out of the <laughs> tea leaves. But your radar is your radar. Keep an eye on it. Get to know it and get to know your rig and what you need to do to protect it. It's you know your most valuable asset, especially when you're full time on the road. Okay, so you've got all the apps you need or want. Um, moving on from that, families that are travelling on the road full time, um, you need to uh, get on board the amazing groups we have on Facebook. Uh, okay, there is Families on the Road Travelling Australia. We wear their sticker um, very proudly on the back of our rig and we go out of our way to try and catch up with other families that are travelling um, this wonderful country. Uh, so really these uh, groups are full of resources and experience and you know what, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Knowledge and expertise of some of these people that have been doing this for years years they have the answers that you're looking for and if not a different perspective you get on to these groups so we're talking families on the road traveling Australia we're talking these these are for the ones that have kids we're talking traveling Australia with kids talk and a special shout out to Mandy um, who has actually put a wonderful membership program together for families who are traveling Australia and staying in caravan parks that get the kids free uh, for a couple of nights. So check it out, um, talk, T-A-W-K. Um, I've got the links again on the blog. So check it out and get on board. Amazingly cheap membership. So I am talking, if you've got more than one kid, you wanna be on this membership. So good job Mandy too. Um, okay. Um, Adam and Sharon Galway, there are Galway's go round. Um, also, uh, look her up if you're looking at a red paddleboard, a stand-up paddleboard. Um, they do Friday um, night drinks, chats and where you're at. Now, yeah, it's great. I know you're all watching your um, data on the road, but you know what? It's really great to know where all the other families are that are travelling Australia. And when you're trying to hook up with everybody, a simple thing like... Uh, honestly, these guys are awesome. They're just every Friday night, they either coordinate someone else to run it or they do it themselves. And let me tell you, from one fellow blogger to another, that is a huge commitment. So get on board, support them, maybe do a host yourself. Check them out, Galway's Go Round. Again, all of the links on the blog, uh, cakemeat3.com. Okay, so traveling and camping in general. You don't have kids? Yeah save yourself a lot of time that's all just kidding love my girls um <laughs> everything caravan and camping got to be on it biggest one in australia um matt you do an awesome job and i don't know how you control and manage as an admin um ev everything that goes on in a group that size but hats off to you so uh everything caravan and camping must must join uh secondly caravan and camping australia Again, great group, got to get on it, a must join. The wealth and knowledge of these people, we're talking um, tens of thousands of people, like a couple of hundred thousand, I think, everything caravan and camping have got, over a hundred thousand, caravan and camping Australia. 
get onto it, join it. Um, don't forget us, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, uh, we're everywhere. Um, and we're really trying to put the resources out there that are gonna help people get on the road. And um, I was actually really psyched this week to be contacted by a family who are actually looking at heading overseas and saw us as the number one choice. What a fantastic uh, feeling. And um, you know, that's what it's about, sharing resources and putting this information out there to help other people uh, get on the road. So everyone, that's it, Apps and Maps Travel Australia. We'll add more to the blog as we go to try and help you, um, but for now, uh, and happy Australia Day for tomorrow. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi.